we're looking at this, guys, if we can be able to determine uh, that two triangles are congruent by angle side angle by looking at their corresponding, their corresponding parts or angle side angle, therefore we can prove they're congruent. There's one important thing. If you guys remember when we talked about side angle side, remember the angle had to be what? Does anybody remember what was special about the angle? When we did side angle side, there's something special that we had to say about that angle. Do you remember, Samantha? Philip, do you remember? Rhymes with pincluded. Included. And does anybody remember what included? Asia, do you remember what the included side meant? No? Kaylee, do you remember? Berta. No. Jessica? Okay. So let's go and talk about this around real quick. Guys, if I gave you, let's talk about uh, side angle side. All right? You guys have two different triangles. Which one of those triangles has, has an included angle? Um, let's pick on Mario. Which one do you think it would be, A or B? A. And why would you think A is the one that has the included angle instead of B? Oh, sorry, we'll put this one in there. Huh? Which one has the included angle? Sierra, you want to maybe give a guess? There's something we talked about in the definition of included angles. Any idea? You can just pick one. You think it's A. OK, Mario thinks it's A. Yes? Whoa, whoa, whoa. OK, I'll give you a shot. I want to say it's either neither or B because it goes side angle side. For B, it normally is distributed side angle side. Side angle, then side on the other side. OK. So um, Blake, what do you think? Um, B. OK, why do you think B? Because the, the angle is in between the two lines. And if you guys go back through your definition that we wrote down on this, if you go back on your definition, the angle is B. Because for it to be an included angle, the angle it's all right. It's OK. You're not going to remember it unless you, try to re unless you try to get it, pick it out, right? Because now you said it, and you said it wrong, right? Which is good. It's OK. Because guess what? Now you're going to remember internally, be like, oh, yeah, remember, the angle has to be in between the two sides. That's when we know it's as an included angle. But that's for side angle side. For angle side angle, guess what has to be included? The side. So do you guys see how my side is in between my two angles? That's how you can prove that it is congruent by angle side angle. Okay?